The chapters about how governments can help uh, and enhance the role of an, uh, in ICT in sustainable development, and it, uh, it is aimed at uh, policy decisions that might be made on taxes and expenditure, fiscal decisions, or on laws and regulations by ministers, legislators, uh, officials, uh, courts, uh, you know, state-owned enterprises that ultimately affect the economy. And um, it, it looks at uh, four areas. One is it looks at the uh, objectives and goals of the sustainable development and positions that as what we're trying to achieve and explains how that all, the 17 goals fit together. Secondly, we then point to how important ICT is in, a, in, uh, in with the organization of government itself. Uh, so achieving an accountable, transparent government is, uh, is assisted by ICT because it can enable e-government and, and uh, citizens to interact and to acquire services and provide and obtain information. Um, cybersecurity obviously is a big issue in that area. Um, the third area, uh, the third and fourth areas really are the focus of the paper. The first is on government policy affecting ICT itself. But the second is uh, raising a very important issue, which is uh, the government policy on non-ICT matters or non-ICT markets and how that impacts back and uh, you know, it affects the development of ICT and the contribution that ICT can make. So, that, so what we're basically saying is that a lot of the government policy surrounding non-ICT markets were actually designed in a pre-internet era. And in fact, they stand as barriers, potentially, the government policies on non-ICT markets like health and education or food or cities and settlements and on other important matters in government's goals are uh, perhaps constraining the introduction and development of ICT. For example, e-health or mobile health and e-education and mobile education. These things aren't being picked up, not because they're not there or, not being, or can't be developed, but because of constraints in the markets. What we're looking for is solutions that try to encourage innovation and competition in all markets and uh, at the same time perhaps and provide a guarantee or some security for the investments that people make in ICT to help sustainable development. But that, that in essence is the idea. One, ICT can help an organization of government. Two, it can obviously help by affecting the way in which infrastructure investment occurs and applications and content is developed in the ICT markets themselves. But thirdly, it can affect how non-ICT markets feed back into the whole equation. Well, I, I think that really uh, ICT is the future of uh, sustainable development. Uh, and together with biotech, uh, ICT are the two big innovations in uh, knowledge and in technology that enable us to achieve greater productivity, greater economic growth, to, to make it a more inclusive society for disabled people. For example, autonomous cars and driverless cars and, uh, and infrastructure and transport that's more intelligent will be more embracing of people with disabilities because they don't need to be able to see to drive a car. Um, but also for people who are not educated, you know, there are applications now that enable them to go online and use smart interactive applications that are voice activated. So they can, they can ask questions online and get answers by voice. They don't have to be able to read. So bringing people and from some of the uh, situations they're in, in, in poor and underdeveloped contexts, into the 21st century quickly by, in a sense, leapfrogging and adopting the new technologies. That's the great opportunity here. The challenge, as I say, is actually government policies standing in the way, creating a less than innovative, less than embracing, less than competitive framework or environment, which makes it hard for ICT. So what we do is we keep doing what we've been doing in the past. We're keeping on doing and trying to do what we did in the pre-internet era without making that leap forward that could be done and skipping a development phase, if you will, for most of the planet.